Hello everyone, so uh, let's begin painting this ship. Okay, so on the line layer, I'm just going to use my magic wand. Set my contiguous to be on. The tick should be on here. And then I'm on my line work layer. I'm just going to make use of my line work layer, which has this whole uh, line work to grab the silhouette of this ship. Okay, so once I have a silhouette, I can start painting immediately, which I think is faster. Okay, so with the magic wand, I click on the empty space of the line work. So I'll get this selection. And now if I select inverse, right click, select inverse, I'll grab this, uh, which is the inner side of the ship itself. Now I go under this uh, line work, I create a new layer. And then I color pick a color, maybe a slightly darker skin color of the ship. And then I just fill the color here. Okay. So this will be the base color of the ship. Okay, so this is the main silhouette of the ship. Okay, now I want to paint the uh, white color parts. So this is the, not really white, so the path of ship. Okay, so remember when we grab the colors, we want to use a mid-tone gray color or slightly grayish, so not pure white. Okay, so back to line work, I can grab magic wand, and then I can go back off the layer below. And then I color pick this color. And then I fill. So how do I color pick? Uh, use a brush and I press alternate. Brush is B. And then alternate. Then you can color pick any of this color. Okay, then I just uh, push it down here. Okay, you can also just use your brush. Then you can paint some some of this uh this shading you know <clears throat> so I can do the line work select this area and then I use my brush brush softly and go back to my line work, select this layer, and use my brush to apply softly. Okay, I think this might be the best way to do that. Select a, select an area and use my brush and apply a bit softly. And then erase off the excess if I need to. If I want to just keep a little bit of it, I can keep it. I will select these two areas. Okay, so this path of ship, I can set to clipping mask, so it clips below. Then I really don't want it to cover the face at all, so I'm gonna erase this part here. Near the uh, corners, I want to also erase a bit more, so it shows a bit more shadow, obviously, when I erase that area. Just cleaning it up a little bit more. Okay, so maybe my opacity, I can set it to lower. Just to make the gradient of this shadow a little bit softer. So you can think of each of these paths as a sphere. 
they don't want them to be too hard also. So you want to create a soft look to each of these spheres. That's why we are being a bit more gentle. Then there's this uh, top part of the hair, almost mistake. So I just want to include this in now. Using my smudge brush to kind of push the edges a little bit. Then you see this uh, hard line over here. So that consists of some hard line. And then that consists of some softer lines. The green ones are the softer ones. So I want you all to take note. Uh, when you paint, you want to have some hard ones. You want to have some soft ones as well. So it really uh, depends on the lighting condition, which cause different kind of shadows. So we want to take reference and then really paint according to reference is what we can do. Now I can also use this uh, blur tool over here, so I can blur some of these specific areas using my tool. much okay all right next video i'll show you the highlights on the face and on the leg area okay see you in the next video bye bye